it's very multifaceted, the really amazing experience that I had with my residency. And so just to really clue people into residencies, and, and Desiree sort of primed it as well, is this idea of sort of like a medical residency, but with teachers instead. And so we travel as a cohort. Uh, my cohort had eight of us. Um, and we were individuals who were in the schools from day one with our mentor teachers. And we took classes together. And we were a small community. And I think that's one of the cornerstones for why we felt so prepared, first of all, was just support. This idea that we knew people that we identified with, we were always placed with them. So they would try to put us in pairs or trios in schools so that when we were placed, we had familiar faces that we could rely on as resources. But beyond that, it's really about the philosophy of the program that I was in. So it was only math science education. So first off, really trying to hit that niche market of areas that tend to not be well prepared. But on top of it, uh, well, I'd actually just to elaborate on that, it's giving the sense of changing also the, the way you teach science. So it becomes inquiry driven, it becomes student centric, this idea, this paradigm shift of you are no longer instructing students about rote memorization, but you are trying to put the ownership with the students as well. Uh, and then on top of it, we were also trained in having social justice in our classroom. And, and, and that caters in both directions, not only for the students where you're really trying to foster democratic policies or processes in the classroom, but on top of it for why I stay, right? I stay to advocate for them. I, I was learning how to really be a social advocate on behalf of them. And, and so, you know, when they were trying to turn our school into a turnover program that would see us have longer days for a very small stipend, uh, we felt this was not in the needs of our students. And many of us within our cohort spearheaded this response to not permitting this because we're there for the students, we're there for the communities, the stakeholders that are most valuable are them. Uh, and then just to go back full circle back to how the residency further caters support is, we also have induction. So this idea that once you are released into the wild of teaching, you are not abandoned. <laughs> it's this idea that for three years after, I had retired teachers who would visit my classrooms periodically and make sure that I still felt supported beyond my mentor, my in-school mentor. And it comes to the point where the program becomes so sustainable that now, full circle, I'm now working with the induction program. 